We begin tonight with a plea from a Colleen family as they await justice after a person shot into their home on Tuesday. The shooting caused major damage to the home and nearly killed the 18 year old who was inside. Six News reporter Adrian Alexander has the latest from the family as they're still in shock and as they await for justice from Colleen Police Department. I will not rest until he is behind bars. Tuesday, May 16th is a day the Ortiz family will never forget. I think about the situation a lot. I think about, you know, there's different scenarios in my head that could have and would have happened. 18 year old Ruben Ortiz was in his Colleen home around 10 a.m. when his friend knocked on the door and asked him to come outside. When Ortiz decided not to, he says that's when his former friend opened fire on his home. His mom, Honey Ortiz, recalls the moment she found out what had happened. I got a phone call from my across the street neighbor and um, she was like, are you OK? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, I heard gunshots and I automatically um, hung up with her and I called him on FaceTime and I was so happy and so relieved that he answered. Thankfully, Ortiz reacted quickly and was not at all injured. He calls the police and I'm calling the police and I'm, you know, telling them what happened and I'm running to my car and um, I get to my car and I drive home and I park just in the driveway and as I'm walking up to the door, all I see is shell casings from a gun. Ortiz says at least 10 gunshots can be seen on the outside and the inside of her home and they haven't been home since the shooting. Honey put in a police report pertaining to the incident, but she says after that, nothing was done to find the alleged shooter. I'm so happy that he's okay, but the police have not done anything. I think the report is finally filed, but this young man is still on the street. We can't even live at home right now because he knows his life is over. He knows he's going to jail and you know, I'm, I, I'm not going to chance it. As of April 30th, Colleen has investigated three murders so far this year. Ortiz is grateful her son didn't fall victim to murder, but hopes something is done soon so the family can safely return home. You know, I just thank God for that, you know, that whole situation, just how it happened, and you know, I'm still breathing right now. Adriana Alexander, 6 News. The investigation is ongoing and there is no further information at this time. The Ortiz family just wants the shooter off the streets. We'll keep you updated as we learn more.